The worst kept secret in all of black college football is expected to be made official either later this week or the beginning of next week as South Carolina State Board of Trustees is expected to approve a contract to hire Chenis Berry as a new head football coach. This is going to be a big win for South Carolina State. The Buddy Q, as he has said during the different MEAC coaches conferences that I've had a chance to hear him speak at during the regular season is that South Carolina State football fancies itself as a Pittsburgh Steelers type of organization where there's not a lot of turnover when it comes to head coaches, and the numbers don't lie. Since 1973, South Carolina State coaches have included Willie Jeffries, the late Bill Davis, Coach Jeffries again for a second term, Buddy Pugh, and now Chennis Barrett. South Carolina State is getting a guy who waited a long time for his turn. He was an offensive line coach and tight end coach in several different places, uh, Kentucky State, Morgan State, North Carolina a t Howard, most recently associate head coach at Southern before taking the Benedict job, which was his first head coaching job. And he was pretty doggone good at Benedict. They were 27-7 and seven in his three years there, won the last two SIAC conference championships, made the playoffs each of the last two years. And you're talking about a program that didn't have much success before Coach Barry came along. What South Carolina State is getting is a proven winner, a confident guy who can sell water to a whale. If you've ever had a chance to hear Coach Barry talk, you know that his words will grab you before his uh, game plan will. And once the game plan gets put into place, it's a pretty good game plan. You know, a lot of run, you know, wide open offensive style, tough, aggressive minded defense. It's going to be a great change for South Carolina State because Coach Pugh has been fantastic, obviously. But now it feels like we can put South Carolina State back in the running as far as Mid Eastern Athletic Conference powers go. Not that they were ever out of it, they've been one of the more consistent programs in the history of the conference since it started. But now that they have a, their man in place, it looks like Bulldogs are going to be back on top sooner rather than later.